Surrendering ownership and becoming a manager. Surrendering ownership and becoming a manager. We need to know that one of the principles in the kingdom of God is a principle of stewardship. A steward is a manager, is a trustee, that what you have has been entrusted to you. It does not belong to you. I know in the world, people have a sense of ownership and people like to own whatever they have, including even the God-given abilities in them, the talents, the gifts. But God desires a people who walk and function in this world with an understanding that they don't own anything, but they are managers. Psalms 115 and verse 16. The Bible says the highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to who? To man. So the earth still belongs to God. If you read in the, in the book of Psalms uh, 24 from verse 1, you see that God still owns everything. Praise the name of the living God. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. So everything in this earth, it belongs to him. And even the people who live here on earth, they all belong to God. But God has given the earth to man to be able to manage the same way he did in the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15. The Lord took man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. So what has been given unto you, you are a manager, you are a trustee, you are a steward. Buana sifuwe sana. Mungu haja kupatia uwe na ile hali ya kusikia kwamba ni mimi niko na hiki kipawa ni mimi niko na hii mali ni mimi niko na haya mamlaka Mungu amekupatia uwe na ile hali ya kujisikia kwamba ni Mungu ameniaminia nafasi ambayo niko nayo As the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 10 each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faith-free, administering God's grace in its various form. Ya kwamba kire kipawa umepatiwa. It is all about stewardship. Mungu amekuaminia na unafaa kuwa muaminifu. Diposa wengine wetu hatuwezi kuchoka. Tunapo watumikia. Kwa sababu neema hii tumepatiwa Tumepatiwa Ili tuweze kuatumikia Hakuna mtu anapatiwa neema Awe anasikia tu vizuri Anapewa kipawa Ili awe anajienjoy ha? Anasikia vizuri na kile kipawa It could be wealth It could be resources It could be connections It could be a place of authority But God has entrusted it to you and he desires that you're not just going to own, but you're going to be a good manager. I had a story about Nelson Mandela. Na Nelson Mandela, munajua likuwa gerezani, na baadaye akatoka gereza, na akawa president of Paris, South Africa. Wakati moja walikuwa katika hoteli. Na wakiwa katika hoteli, sasa ye ni mtu mkubwa, hako na bodyguard. Akaona mtu kwa meza ilio kuambali. Na akamtambua ya kwamba walikuwa na ye kule gerezani. Akatuma askari ya kamuambia, endeni mchukua ule mtu mumulete kwa meza yangu. Akakuja akaletwa kwa meza yake, na wakaanza kura pamoja. Lakini wakati walipo kuwa wanakura pamoja, alikuwa na tetemeka. Hangeweza kukaa karibu na yeye. Baada ya kumaliza kura tu akitetemeka na mawasiwasi 
walipomaliza kula akamsalimia na akamwachilia baadaye akauliza wale waliokuwa na yeye mumeonaje huyo mtu kwa nini alikuwa anatemeka hivyo wakasema this guy was very anxious ha? Nelson Mandela akawaambia hapana he was not just anxious kile kilikuwa kinafanya atetemeke ni kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa kule gerezani nikiomba maji ya kunywa alikuwa ananitoa ananikojolea ananiambia kunywa hiyo makojo because he was the one who was in charge badala ya anisaidie na maji ya kunywa angenikojolea kwa kichwa aka wakamuuliza na sasa kwa nini umemwachilia hivyo akasema it is because the power that I have been given is not to set scores praise the name of the living god hizi nguvu nimepatiwa sio za kupigana na maadui walio kuwa kinyume na mimi nimepatiwa nguvu hizi nikaweze kulijenga taifa la South Africa praise the name of the living god hallelujah that is what i'm talking about stewardship because siku moja kila moja you shall give an account iwe ni upako iwe ni kipawa iwe ni pesa siku moja utapatiana hesabu ya ulitumiaji nafasi ambayo ulikuwa umepatiwa praise the name of the living god did you use your opportunity to set a scores unajua kuna watu wakipata nafasi wata make sure ameumiza mtu fulani wengine hata kwa hiyo ofisi ha huh? don't use your power to set a scores with people praise the name of the living god because you know it is said that vindication is in the womb of time siku moja ha huh? Unaweza kujikuta uko chini na yule mtu ulikuwa unamuonea ako juu yako. Hakuna mtu anazikwa na kitu. Hakuna mtu anazikwa na mamlaka aliyokuwa nayo. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hakuna mtu anazikwa na mashamba aliyokuwa nayo. Ulikuja duniani bule naked you came. Naked shall you live. Praise the name of the living God. Na wakati ukijua ya kwamba kila kitu the Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 and verse 27 to this John replied a man can receive only what is given him from heaven. Mtu tu anaweza kupokea kile ambacho amepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu kutoka juu mbinguni. Bwana asifiwe sana. You can only receive what has been given to you by God from heaven. And if it has been given, bi nasema ya kwamba why why do you feel that you are superior? Because what do you have that you did not receive? What do you have that was not given unto you? And this is what causes people to walk in humility and to become faithful steward administering whatever they has been they have been given as from the lord praise the name of the living god kuna watu walipatiwa nafasi za uongozi kama hapa afrika viongozi wengi hutumia nafasi zao za uongozi kuumiza wale waliowaumiza na kulipisha kisasi kwa wale waliowafanyia vibaya wacha nikwambie hayo sio mapenzi ya mungu Mapenzi ya Mungu nafaa kuwa mfano mzuri ya kwamba Mungu kuna moja alikuwa kwa hii nafasi akaitumia vibaya. Nelson Mandela alijua ya kwamba this opportunity that I've been given is not to settle scores with people. Hata kama wengine waliniumiza, hata kama wengine walinifanyia vibaya, sitatumia nafasi yangu kuwafanyia au not repay evil with evil. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mandela akasema, hiyo tu tumekaa na yeye hapo. Akasema hiyo ni punishment ya kutosha. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Kumuita tu 
tukae meza moja na yeye niko na bodyguard hapo wamenizunguka naweza kusema ashiku aweke ndani lakini tunakuda na yeye hapo na ninamwachilia kasema hiyo inatosha praise the name of the living god wapendwa tuache hali ya kisasi kisasi katika jamii Praise the name of the living God. Unaweza kuwa ulizaliwa jamii ambayo your mother was a stepmother na pengine aliumizwa. Ukiangalia na macho. Na leo wewe ndiye Mungu amepatia neema katika ile jamii. At least ni wewe umebarikiwa. Usiseme huyu mama mkubwa vile alivyotufanyia. Na yeye nitamuonyesha. Unaenda huko holiday mnachija mambuzi? Ha? Na unasema avute moshi. Avute moshi ndio asikie vile tulivyokuwa tunasikia wakati Mungu amekupatia nafasi kama hiyo unaponunulia mama yako siku kuu na ye enda umbaliki mwambie nimekuletea siku kuu kwa sababu Mungu amenibariki praise the name of the living god haleluya biblia inasema ya kwamba adui yako mufanyie mambo mazuri ni kama kumwekelea makaa kwa kichwa Tesa mtu kwa kumfanyia vizuri. Praise the name of the living God. Nimekataa kulipa ubaya na ubaya. Nimekataa kuwa mtu wa kisasi katika maisha yangu, katika jina la Yesu. Because I don't own what I have. I am just a steward and in stewardship I am required to be faithful. And if I am a faithful steward, whoever is faithful with a little can be entrusted with much. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14 It's also like a man going off on an extended trip. He called his servants and together delegated responsibilities. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Yesu hapa alikuwa anaonyesha ufalme wa Mungu. Na akasema ufalme wa Mungu ni, wa, ni, ni unafananishwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa anaenda safari ya mbali. Na wakati alikuwa anaenda safari ya mbali akaweza kuachia watumishi wake mali yake There is a version that says that he gave them bags of gold inafananishwa na kuwapatia mifuko ya fedha za dhahabu akawaachia Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba wakati Yesu alipoenda that is why the Bible says he gave to some huh? and he apportioned grace Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says let's uh, continue in, in verse 15. And to one he gave five talents of money. To another two talents and to another one talent. Each according to his ability. That is also very important that when we are given we are given according to our ability to manage. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with two talents gained two more. But the one who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master he said you entrusted me with the five talents see i have gained five more his master replied well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with a few things i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness the man who with the two talents also came master he said you entrusted me with two talents see i have gained two more His master replied, "Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness." Then the man who had received the one talent came. "Master," he said, "I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed." This is a mindset. The mindset of some people is that God is a hard master. Mungu ni kama huwa anataka kuvuna kule hajapanda. Praise the name of the living God. Alipojibu hivyo verse 25. 
So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Mm -hmm. Well, then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would have received it back with the interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who has the ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more. And you have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has, will be taken from him. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Praise the name of the living God. That is a good example of Jesus teaching us about being good managers of what has been given unto us. Because one day he will come back and you shall give an account. If you are given five talents, you shall give an account of the five. If you are given two talents, you shall give an account of the two. If you are given one talent, you shall give an account of one. And whoever is faithful with what has been given unto him, more shall be added. And that more to be added, it is something that continues to happen even in this life. Praise the name of the living God. Si you kama umeshai kuona, watu wale ambao mungu na watumia, ni kama huwa anaendelea kuwapatia more and more responsibilities, ni kama hakuna watu wengine. Ha? Na unashangaa kwani hakuna watu wengine wanaweza kuamini wa mambo mengine. Ni kwa sababu Mungu anatafuta uaminifu wa kile ambacho amekupatia na vile ambavyo kinaongezeka mikononi mwako. Anatafuta mfanyikazi aliye na faida na hana mentality ya kwamba Mungu anakuja kuvuna kule ambako hajapanda. Lazima ujiambie kwamba mimi ni wa Mungu masomo yangu ni Mungu amenipa kazi yangu ni Mungu amenipa taranta nilizo nazo ni Mungu amenipa ili unapozifanyisha kazi ufanyishe kazi sio kwa sababu ya faida sio kwa sababu ya faida yako wewe mwenyewe lakini uangalie ya kwamba mwenye amekuaminia anaweza faidika that is why i don't encourage anyone sitting at home idle and doing nothing because you are not employed that's not a good reason you should find something to do even if you are going to volunteer to do it praise the name of the living god because once you start using the bible says a gift will make a way huh, for the giver once you release your gift out there huh, people will see your gift people will see your skill People will see your potential and it will make a way for you. But when you're just there sitting down at home and doing nothing, the gift that you have, the skill that you have, the potential that you have, it can never open doors for you. Ask and you find that there are so many people by volunteering, by just being out there, sometimes they're not, not paid the kind of money they, they are worth. But they say this opportunity, I am taking it uh, not because I'm given what I am worth, but I am taking it as an opportunity to showcase what I carry, to showcase my potential, to showcase my diligence, to showcase my commitment. And once you showcase what you carry, praise the name of the living God, the world is looking for solutions. And these solutions are in people. When you start becoming a solution, then money is secondary. The primary thing for you in this life is to become the solution, the answer that he created you to become. If God called me to serve him, to minister his word through by his grace, if I continue to develop my life, to develop my calling and become better and better. Bwana sifuwe sana. Hallelujah. Money will follow. Paul said I'm a slave of Christ. 
But Jesus is also looking for that slave who can be faithful with whatever they do, with whatever they have been entrusted. You may not begin up there, but God is watching every move. God is watching every step, even those, that responsibility that you have in the church, that you have in your place of work. God is watching. The Bible says, whatever you find to do, do it with all your heart, not as unto men, but as unto the Lord, because from the Lord you shall receive a reward. Don't do it only when the master's eye is watching on you. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 8 uh, and verse 17, uh, you may say to yourself, uh, my power and the strength of my hands uh, have produced uh, this uh, wealth uh, for me. But remember the Lord your God, uh, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth uh, and so confirms his covenant uh, which he swore to your fathers uh, as it is today. Usisahawe ya kwamba ni mungu anaye kusaidia kutengeneza utajiri, ni mungu kuwezesha kuamuka kila siku wa subui na unaenda unafanya kazi. Usisahawe ya kwamba ni mungu anakupatia neema na kibali na idea za anakufungulia milango he is a partner in whatever you are doing. You are not an owner. You are a manager. You are a steward. Na kila wakati ukiambia mungu, asante kwa hile nafasi umeniaminia. Iwe ni kazini. Wewe uwe ni mwalimu. Wewe uwe ni mfanyi kazi mahali popote. Unamuambia buwana. Hata kama niko na wakubwa wangu. Ninachukua hii nafasi kutoka kwako. Na nitakuwa muaminifu. Ninapofanya kazi mahali hapa kwa sababu niwe nafanyia. Ni wa kristo wangapi siku ya leo mahali wanafanya kazi. Watu wananungunika. Huyu mtu ni maombi tu, ni bibiria tu, ni kulibasaika tu na kulibaselia, lakini kazi hafanyi. Chinabana ipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Kwani ya tuwezi kujifundisha na Joseph? Na Joseph Biblia inasema, the Lord was with him. Alikuwa na uwepo wa mungu. Ha? Lakini katika kufanya kazi kwake, potifa haku complain. Na potifa haku wa pale kwa sababu ni ndugu. Apana. Alimuleta pale ya tumike. Lakini vile alivyo tumika, alitumika kwa njia ambayo Hata potifa alifika mahali akasema na achiria kila kitu kwa Yusufu Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Kwa sababu gani, aliona uaminifu wake Aliona kujitolea kwake ha? Kila mahali Yusufu alienda, hata wakati alienda jera Jera alienda, akaaminiwa akawa trusty Kwa sababu gani Hakufanya kazi na kunungunika Hakusema ya kwamba sipatiwi chochote Alisimama na kujua kila nafasi mungu ananiaminia Nitakuwa muaminifu Watu wengi wanafanya kazi wakiangalia mshahara Watu wengi wanafanya kazi nitapata nini The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 10 Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you cannot be trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? He kwanza nimbaya zaidi. Ya kwamba, kama hawezi kuwa muaminifu na mali ya udharimu, mukristo ambaye hawezi kuwa Muaminifu na material wealth amekuwa disqualified kupata spiritual wealth. Bwana asifuwe sana. Genesis chapter 28 and verse 20. Then Jacob made a vow saying, If God will be with me and will watch over me on this journey, I am taking and will give me food to eat and cross to wear 
so that I return safely to my father's house. Then the Lord will be my God. And this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will give you a tenth. That is not about the rule of Moses. Praise the name of the living God. That was way before the rule of Moses. Who you need to ambai? Anataka kutambua mungu kama mtualizi wake. Ya kwamba mungu kama utanipereka katika hii safari. Kwa sababu hakika, sijui kule ni nakoenda. Sijui nitapatana na nini katika hii safari. Lakini kama wewe mungu utaenda pamoja na mimi. Na unipe mavazi. Na unipe chakura. Hiri jiwe. Hapa nitakuja kukujengea nyumba. Na chochote utakacho nipatia. Sehemu ya kumi ninakuwa hidi ni yako. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na Yakobo akaondoka, akaenda katika nyumba ya mchomba wake ambaye anaitwa Raban. Na tunajua mambo yale Yakobo alikutana nayo mahali pale. Lakini hata kama Yakobo alikutana na mambo mazito Kitu moja tunachojua ni ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa na mtetea Yakobo na baadaye alitoka ndani ya nyumba ya Yakobo na utajiri mkubwa. Na hata wakati Yakobo alijaribu kumfuata Mungu mwenyewe alitokea Raban kwa ndoto akamwambia huyu mtu ambaye unayemfuata ako na agano ako na nadhiri na mimi usimfanyie jambo lolote mbaya wala nzuri wakati Laban alimfikia Yakobo alimwambia wewe kile ningekuonyesha hakuna kitu ungeenda nacho hapa lakini Mungu amenitokea akaniambia nisikufanyie jambo lolote nzuri wala mbaya Mungu alimtetea Yakobo kwa sababu Yakobo alikuwa na nathiri alikuwa na agano wakati mwingi tunapobarikiwa na pesa na mali na utajiri huwa tunahesabu ni zetu huwa tunaona hii ni mali yangu huwa tunaona hii ni jasho yangu huwa tunaona hii ni bidii yangu hata wengine tukiwa na vipawa huwa tunaona hiki ni kipawa changu wengine wakipatiwa neema na Mungu praise the name of the living god haleluya huwa tunaona hii ni yangu hata unapoitwa mahali kuhudumu unapatia na terms and condition kabla pesa hii haijapatikana kabla hujanipia first class kabla hujafanya hii na ile unapatia unapatia mtu conditions ili aweze kutumikiwa na hiyo neema na masharti yale hata hawezi hata nusu yake na wewe pengine hata Mungu amekubariki ungesema nitajigalimia niende nilete injiri kwa sababu nilipata bule na bule nitapata kutoa ulimwengu wewe unafikiria ile pesa niko naye ile nyumba niko naye ile kazi niko naye ni yangu but the kingdom is different lazima tuwe transformed na katika ufalme ujue kwamba ni Mungu ameniaminia hii nyumba ni Mungu ameniaminia hii biashara ni Mungu ameniaminia hiki kipawa ni Mungu ameniaminia hii neema Paul said I worked harder more than all of them but not I but the grace of God that was with me praise the name of the living God Hallelujah. May God raise stewards uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, who are going to be faithful with what has been given. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians, as I finish, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 18, free from sexual immorality, all other sins a man commits are outside his body, but he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is, not a, is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received? Uh, from God. You are not your own. Look at that last part. You are not. Then verse 20 in Asemaje. You are bought. Ata. Therefore honor God with you. Even your own body is not your own. Praise the name of the living God. So what about who are nataka kutumia miriao vile mnavyotaka? 
masikio yako, mdomo wako, macho yako bila unavyotaka. You are not your own. The minute you understand that this body has been given unto me, I must use it for the glory of God. In fact, you kisoma hapo juu verse 15. The Bible says, "Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Shall I then take the members of Christ and unite them with a prostitute? Never. Your bodies are members of Christ himself. Praise the name of the living God. Wale tunapenda kutumia miri yetu vibaya na mambo ambayo hayamletei Mungu tukufu. Bibi inasema ya kwamba hata mwili wako sio wako. Ni mwili ni sehemu ya mwili wa Kristo. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. The minute you start behaving as a manager that everything that I have has been given unto me to manage. You not do anything even with your body that will not glorify God. Kocha kusema niko na finger 8 sio yako. Anaweza kuifanya iwe figa Q. Wale ambao Mungu amewapatia neema ya kupata pesa mingi, usichukue hizo pesa ni zote ni kupanga tu miradi yako, unatoka huu mradi, unaiata hata fungu la 10 peke yake haliko katika mawazo yako. Unafikiria tu vile utamaliza hii unachukua madeni unaenda yani unakuta hata we mwenyewe hauna amani na zile pesa Mungu amekupatia because kuna tamai imeingia unataka zaidi unataka zaidi unataka zaidi unajikuta huko kwa shimo hmm? baada ungesema nitatosheka na nitaaminia Mungu ya kwamba atanipatia progress. Watu wengi wako na magonjo ya sukali, watu wengi wako na magonjo ya moyo kwa sababu walijiwekelea mambo mazito ya kifedha. Ha? Walikopa madeni makubwa, walichukua pesa za watu. Ha? Kwa sababu gani wanataka zaidi na zaidi? The Bible says godliness with contentment is a great gain. Praise the name of the living God. Because those who have pursued riches, they have ended by piercing themselves with grief. Wale wame pasu, kuwa na utajiri mkubwa, wengine wame jidunga na hofu. Wengine wame ingia kwa mambo ambayo hawange ingia kama wange tosheka. Kama wange kuwa waminifu na kire kidogo, mungu angeendelea kuwa ongeza. Let me tell you, there are poor people today according to the standards of this world, but they are very peaceful. And they are very rich people, but they don't have any peace. Because they are still going for more. Wanachikuta wanapo tafuta zaidi na zaidi wameingia kwa mambo. Kuliko ule mtu ambaye natosheka na kire kidogo wako nacho na anakuwa muaminifu. Si umuambie buwana, nitakuwa muaminifu na kire kidogo umenipatia.